How do you check the windings of a single phase compressor? What should you see? What indicates you could have a bad compressor? I'm replacing this compressor today. And if we take and measure from common to run, common to start and start to run, they should all add up, right? Start to run is 1.8. And then start to common is one. And then common to run is 1.1, right? So it just about adds up. And then when you go from each winding of your compressor to your copper, you shouldn't read anything, right? Because that would indicate that we are shorted to ground. We have continuity to ground. So, but when we're measuring from each one of these windings to the copper, right? We're indicating that we have continuity. And that would indicate this compressor is bad, right? Now let's measure the windings of this compressor. Let's go from start to run, 1.9, just about the same as the other. Uh, start, that was start to run, start to common, 0 0.9. And then the last one would be common to run, and that would be 1.3, all right? So they just about add up. Now let's go from each winding to the copper. What do we got? Oh well, open loop, so we're not reading anything to ground. That's good. So if you ever read from one of your windings to your copper and you have continuity, then it could be your compressor is bad and that is a short to ground. You wanna learn more about replacing a compressor like this, I'll put a link to a video. Another tip you may need in the field is all compressors are not the same and different compressors have different harnesses. So these two harnesses are different. You see the difference? That means this compressor that's made for this LG compressor will not work for the Copeland compressor. And anytime I order a new compressor, I always order a filter dryer and I always order a new harness. See, this harness will not work for the LG compressor. So make sure you know that in the field because you don't wanna to have to wait and order a harness because you just figured out, well, the new compressor won't work with the old harness. And you don't wanna rig it up in the field because that could be dangerous and you could have a call back. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You want more videos like this, go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians.